I was struck as Jesus was talking about the inside and the outside in the gospel today. He says, But as for what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. This gift towards others. And I was pondering over it this morning, and I realized, of course, St. Paul says in another place, the love of money is the root of all evil. Not that money is the root of all evil, but the love of money is. And I was thinking about all the seven deadly sins, pride and envy and anger and sloth and greed and gluttony and lust. All of them can be found in that love of money. And the love of money stirs up all the others. And so the Lord says to us, give alms, give alms, give of yourself, which, I mean, it's more than just, of course, giving money. It, it represents our energy, our, our, our intelligence, our work, everything that we've done to gain that money, then we're giving it away to those who are in need. An act of charity. Now, remember, charity isn't saying I'm giving to the poor. Charity is love. That's what charity means. Now, it's taken on a connotation in our society that charity means giving to the poor, but charity means love. And almsgiving then becomes an act of charity, an act of love, which then can cleanse us from the inside out because it allows us then to recognize by giving of our sustenance, God is in charge. I need to trust Him. I can't allow love of things, love of the stuff of the world, love of money to take hold of me and hold me bound because it so easily does. But rather, by giving alms, then we're allowing ourselves to be separated from that attachment to things. Attachment to the security of this world, which isn't really that secure. And make ourselves then cling to Almighty God. Which then purifies us. As Jesus said, it makes everything clean.